Hello, Harvest Church, and welcome to your app tutorial. Uh, we'll be going over a few different things to help you not only download the app, but figure out how to navigate it a little bit and what you need to know right off of the bat. So uh, first off, we're going to talk about downloading. And uh, if you're on an Android device, you'll want to go to the Google Play Store on your phone, and it'll have a search bar on there. You want to type in the search bar AG Space Harvest. If you're on an Apple device, you'll look for the App Store, and you'll want to also type into that search bar, AG Space Harvest. And we should be the first one that pops up there. It'll be called AG Harvest App, and it'll have our icon on there, that um, arrow's pointing up, down, and side to side. That's a black circle on there. Uh, so after you've got that downloaded, uh, the first question it'll ask is, do you want the notifications to be on? And we do ask that you leave that on just so that we can remind you about events and get a hold of you that way. Uh, also, it'll ask you if you want to leave your location settings on. That also, we would ask you to leave that on just so that we can use the full extent of the app. Uh, so that would really help us out. So thank you for that. Also, the inbox is uh, another thing we're going to address here. Uh, so on the bottom panel there, there's a little button that says Inbox and a couple little message icons. Uh, you'll click that Inbox button and it'll pull up a couple of different messages just welcoming you to the app and thanking you for downloading. And uh, so under that uh, Inbox icon, you'll go on the top right hand corner, you'll see a little funnel there. And that little funnel will give you the capability to figure out which messages you want to receive from the church. So if you click that funnel, you'll see our list of ministries there and check marks by each one. So you want to go through those and uncheck the ones that you don't want to hear from and make sure the ones that you do want to hear from are checked on there. The next thing I want to talk to you about is events. So on the events little square right next to the inbox uh, icon there, you'll want to click on that and you'll see a list of events on there. Uh, starting from the day that you're looking at it. So if today is Thursday, I'll see Thursday's events first and then Friday and then Saturday's events listed after that. So what's great about those events is that you can click on one and it'll pull it up for you and it'll have a couple different options on there. And one option will be to save the event, which will actually save it to your smartphone calendar, which will be really handy for you just to be able to get uh, reminded that way, which would be really great. Uh, so say if you were uh, signing up for a baptism, then it would have the option to save the event to your calendar, but it would also have the option to share it. So you could share it to social media or uh, send it via iMessage so that your friends and family can see it so that they can come to see that baptism. Uh, also, you'll have the opportunity to get directions to that baptism service, so if you share it, then the people that are getting it, if they don't come to Harvest, then they'll be able to get directions there. And also you'll be able to click to respond as well within that event. So clicking to respond will pull up an email for you so you can send uh, whoever it is that's heading up the baptism an email saying, hey, I'd like to be baptized uh, so they can get in contact with you and give you more information. Also, if you're looking at the app from a smartphone versus a smart device or a tablet, They'll look a little bit different, but actually the tablet one uh, will have the menu bar on the left-hand side of the tablet, and then the right-hand side will kind of look blank to begin with, but once you start clicking in, it'll populate it and fill that in, and it'll look really nice, so don't worry about that if that's what you're seeing. Anyway, so thanks for stopping in and watching this video. It's been fun. We love you guys, and hope this is a great tool for you.